Look, as a young guy, you probably spend all your time on TikTok seeing other dudes become millionaires for investing, but the problem is, since you haven't invested yet, you probably don't know all the rules that you should be following, then you get easily influenced, and that's how you end up with negative portfolios. I don't want you to lose money. So before you invest a dime into crypto, NFTs, or stocks, I want you to follow these investing rules every teen and young guy should follow. And on top of all that, I'm gonna give you a grand out of my own pocket for you guys so you can invest right now after you learn what not to do. Now let's hop into it. Number one, you're just buying the wrong thing. See, you're probably getting your financial advice through some sort of mod telling you to buy Safe Moon because it's going to the moon, or through your buddy's Discord who's an entrepreneur and calls you lazy but the dude still lives with his parents. Look, neither of these are reliable sources and just because some projects have gone parabolic into the moon, 99% of these projects end up failing, becoming pump and dumps and losing your own hard earned money. Meaning that the more that you buy things that you don't understand in the hopes of it going to the moon, the more it becomes gambling and the less it becomes investing. Number two, I want you to find other ways to make money. Look, I don't believe in passive income. I've told you that before. I think it's a scam. I think that you have to work, that you have to provide some sort of value to society that they're willing to pay you for. This is the only guaranteed 100% investment that you can be sure is going to pay you a return. Whether that's you start your own business or you go in for a job application, the more skills you have, the more money you're going to end up making. This is exactly why I like our sponsor Skillshare. See, with Skillshare, you can join an online community of creators, all that are like-minded trying to better themselves and increase their skills. Not to mention that on Skillshare, you can learn almost any creative skill you can think of, whether that's stuff in entrepreneurship, whether that's marketing, whether that's design, whether that's coding, whether that's photography, videography, cinematography, audio mixing, like, any skill that you can think of, Skillshare probably has a class out of the thousands of premium classes that they have. And since they're premium classes, you got no ads. Let me give you a great example. Right now, e-commerce companies value creators that can storytell, that can create pieces of content that they can then put out so they can generate sales. So a great class for you to kind of get started is portrait photography. Shoot and edit Instagram worthy pictures straight from your iPhone. This is an actual class on Skillshare where professional photographer Jessica Kubisi will take you through all the processes that you need to learn how to shoot professionally beautiful pictures on your iPhone. This is then a service you can take if you apply for a job or if you want to provide marketing for a company. The point is, boys, growing your skill set is a guaranteed way to increase revenue. And the best part is that with Skillshare, you can actually start it for free. See, for the first 1,000 guys that click the link down below and sign up, you can start Skillshare Premium, explore all their classes for one month completely free. There is nothing to lose. And then after that, if you're hooked, if you love the classes in the ecosystem, it's less than a streaming subscription. You're going to be paying less than 10 bucks a month to actually fill your brain up with knowledge that's going to pay you back. If you guys want to check out Skillshare, I'm going to suggest for those first thousand, like run over there. There is nothing to lose and everything to gain. If you guys want to check it out, link's going to be down below. Matter of fact, number three, here's the grant I promise you to invest. See, to invest, you need money. And since money doesn't grow on trees, you got your older brother that's gonna hook it up for you. See, I'm gonna give a thousand bucks to one of you watching right now. So let's do a challenge. It's gonna be really quick. This is my number. I've told you that before. If you guys text me to that number, I, I give away money. I, I, I'm always like texting you updates about launches and stuff. Anything important, I'm texting you. It's like we're personal friends. So because you're part of my chat, I'm gonna send you a quick text message. It basically reads, who wants a free thousand dollars? It's for a video. All you have to do is reply me first to see who gets the first K. Basically, I'm gonna give it to the most engaged dude, the dude that's like ready for it. I'm gonna send it right now. Send it now. Boom. It's been sent. We should know by the end of this video who is the first dude to text me back, but this is why you should text me back because I'm gonna hook you guys up all the time. But in the meantime, while we see who texted me back first and is gonna get the grand, let's keep it going. Number four, let the pros invest the money for you. See, ETFs or exchange traded funds are funds that are managed by professionals. These are funds that 24 seven are managed by dudes that all they do is work around money and work around stocks and have been doing so for decades. Meaning that the risk for you losing your money is 
far, far less than you taking advice from that Discord millionaire that's giving you tips. Now the cool part with buying ETFs is that it's easy. You buy them like you buy stocks. You go on your Robinhood or on your Webo platform, wherever it is that you buy them, and you just buy them like you do stocks and just let it sit there. You do nothing, nothing to stress about. Let the professionals handle your wealth. And then finally, number five, buy companies that you already buy products from. See, if you follow this rule, chances are that the companies that you're gonna be buying are companies that are actually useful, are gonna be companies that are large and not some sort of pump and dump scheme. These are great examples I've always given you. Instead of buying a $1,200 iPhone, if you would've put $1,000 10 years ago into Apple today, that would be worth about $13,000. Let's take Facebook. You have seen the cultural impact of social media. If early on you would have seen just how much you were using Facebook and you liked it, if you would have invested just a thousand bucks into Facebook 10 years ago, you'd be sitting at 14, almost $15,000 today. Now this one's the crazy one, Tesla. Everybody's driving a Tesla right now. And when the first time I drove a Tesla, I fell in love. Well, if you would have believed in the vision 10 years ago, dropped one grand because you actually liked the product today, you'd be sitting at $85,000. Meaning, let's see who the winner is. Give me one second, let's go to my messages. Look at this. So I just sent out the message. This guy, uh, Elder Chun. Elder Chun, congratulations. You were the first guy to respond back. This dude responded back within the same minute. It is insane. 7.55 in the morning on November 2nd, this dude responded back. Congratulations, Edler. I'm going to be Venmoing you a grant. And what I want you to do is to apply these tactics because hopefully 10 years from now, my dude, you're stacked. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to text me, bro. Like, yo, I'm going to be giving away money all the time. That's it for me today. See you next time.